What's up guys, welcome to your 7th C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about arguments and functions. Now what those are is what's inside the parentheses. So example for last time we had square root and we had a number like 6.34. Whatever's inside these parentheses or parameters is called the argument. Now, as you see, square root only takes one argument, but some math functions take more than one, and some take none at all. So that's where we're going to be going over today, and I want to help you understand how to use functions that require more than one or none at all. So we have our basics right here, and inside our function body, let's type a couple statements. The first thing that we want to do is declare our first variable. So let's make a variable called num1 and it's going to be a real number. So let's write double. And let's use the power of function. So we put num1 equals power. Remember last time we used square root. This time we're going to use the power and that's POW that's built right in. And as you can see right now when you're using power you always have two numbers such as um, 6 to the power of 8 or 2 to the power of 4 right now let's do 2 to the power of 4 and to do this put 2.0 comma 4.0 and what this does is automatically assign 2 to the power of 4 it's a function built right in and how you separate functions with more than one argument is with a comma so again a comma separates arguments that have more than one and again if it had just one you would just type it in plain like that but since this one has two I'm going to separate that with a comma now let's output it on the screen remember C out and let's just type num1 and actually let's begin a new line so as you can see we declared a variable we set that variable equal to the power of 2 to the fourth which should be 16 I believe and then we put we just outputted it right on the screen so let's save that compile and run and as you can see we have 16 and that's how you use um, a math function with more than one argument but let's say there's a math function with no arguments such as the function random number and to do that just type in the word rand and this will provide a random number to our user and as you can see you don't need to type in a number or anything like that because our CMath library is gonna make a random number right for us so let's execute compile and run hopefully I don't have any errors and our random number it generated this time is 41 and that's just a random number it didn't come from anywhere but space so as you can see some built-in math functions have one such as square root two such as power and or none at all such as random numbers so I hope you can uh, understand arguments and functions and remember inside the parentheses are called parameters. They just call it parameters instead of parentheses for because they want to sound cool. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something about functions. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thanks for watching.